apocalypse How magnificent What a beautiful way to die Oh, the apocalypse How magnificent What a beautiful way to die All right! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my friend plays Fallout 2 for the very first time on hard mode. My name's Alan. My name's Galen. And we're here today in the wonderful, wonderful town of Reading. I'm going to adjust that downwards a little bit. So, Galen, where do we leave off? No I think idea. We're, I, I think we're just all. kind of exploring the town of Reading here, looking for side quests. I think that's. I think you're right. Come here to visit Fanny, Fanny May. May. Fanny May, and Freddie Mac. And Freddie we're gonna Mac. get a. Ha we're gonna get a housing loan. A cheap one too, enough to crash the market. Wow. Crash the game at least. Most likely. <laughs> we get a housing loan and the game is like, God! <laughs> Can't process that. Where did this money come from? That's not accounting. Oh, Vic just walking on the bed there. What the hell, man? I know. Doc Johnson. So, um. Doc Johnson. Hmm. Okay. Problem with exports, you say? Exports, you say? Be sure to do. Too much set, not enough work, but there. What did you hear about that? McClure in Vault City told me. What did he tell you? I know McClure. He's on the Vault City Council. Well, okay, yeah, uh, clearly we both know McClure. I'm glad we established that. <laughs> what do you tell you? That you have an export problem. The miners here are all getting high on jet instead of working, so exports are down and prices are up. That situation can't last. Hmm. Okay. So got a little uh, opium wars uh, going on. Sounds like it. So how do we deal with it, Doc? Okay. I mean, it's possible that uh, you might be able to find some kind of addiction-curing medicine. Hey, lady. Or maybe you can just Adam. break the... Uh, well, Jessica. Maybe you can just break the supply of drugs. Um... Maybe. By the way, were you able to figure out a uh, save editor last night? I was unsuccessful, so mm. we're going to work with what we got right now. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll burn that bridge when we uh, are forced over it. Yep. Um, yeah, so I, I realized recently that... Um, because Vault 13 is crashing for us, that actually might prevent us from finishing this game. Which is really, really sad and disappointing. But, um... I mean, if that's how it is, I suppose that's how it is. Uh, because Vault 13 contains a particular uh, item that is crucial to finishing the game. Uh, it's really crappy actually because it's it's in the little storage closet on the third floor and for some reason we just did not go in there looking around <sighs> they have greased pig competitions basically the hell is this place uh boring that's what it is 
I don't see what that has to do with politics. Yeah, that's your politics in this game. Writing it is Grace Brown and a golden one at that. In Reno, the new California public and both city are all trying to catch us, or at least keep the others from catching us. What do you mean? What do you mean indeed? Well, this is attack you and take it. We're bi big enough and far enough away to make it take over expensive as well as dangerous. Much more efficient to have us join willingly. <laughs> what do you mean? The three powers are trying to get Redding to choose which side to ally themselves with. The all, yeah. They, they the decided, all like, we really need to spell this out for the player. Yeah, and it's, like, e what? it's either I'm, I'm we really spell this out, or we have the player basically tell the NPC, fuck off, I don't care. So. I'm sorry. Am I am I eight years old playing and I have to have it spelled out for me? <laughs> uh, I did recall it's getting cursed at by some characters, some NPCs earlier, so I doubt eight, eight year olds are playing this game. Uh, you'd probably be surprised, actually. Um. So, uh, on a totally unrelated note to the game, I'd like to take a moment to talk about the saga of my car. Um, sure. So, so Galen, as you know, um, my car was... Uh, uh, last week, um, I discovered that uh, my car was making noises. Particularly, it was the left front wheel. Anytime I went over any pothole or any divot in the road, I would hear like a clunk, clunk. And uh, I feel dumb for not realizing this before, but um, I also, right when I started hearing those noises, at the exact same time, um, started to hear my brakes scrape uh, when whenever I would use my brakes. And I thought, oh, okay, it's my rusty rear brakes that I changed two years ago, but they've gotten rusty since then that are uh, being a problem. Fine, whatever. You know, I'm not too worried about that. I will uh, figure something out there. Um... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll change those and then whatever is making noise in front, that's got to be totally unrelated. That's got to be a suspension issue, right? Well, for sure. Turns out I was wrong. He was dead wrong. Yeah. So anyway, I, uh, I ended up taking my car to AAA and I was like, yeah, I didn't see anything exactly under my car that looked off. Um, so I, you know, I don't know. I think maybe it's the control arm, but I'm going to let you guys figure out exactly what's going on here. Why, uh, you smell bad. You probably you do smell, smell bad. bad. Uh, uh I'm, I'm going to, you know, let, I'm going to let AAA figure out exactly what's going on. I was like, yeah, and Hopefully it's the control arm, because they just replaced those a year and a half ago. Well, unfortunately, it was actually just over two years ago. And so the warranty on those control arms was totally void. And that was very disappointing to hear. Um, but then uh, I took it in, and they were like, Hey, it's not actually the control arm or suspension or anything at all. It's the caliper. And just, you know, five months ago, I had changed the calipers myself. So uh, I guess I was a fuck up on that. Uh, but apparently the caliper, um, you know, it's got two uh, bolts that keep it attached to the... Uh, uh, well, two bolts that keep the caliper attached to the bracket, and then two bolts that attach the bracket to the car itself. And yeah, on. one of those bolts, there's an upper bolt and a lower bolt. One of those bolts had uh, come off. Uh, 
And I was like, oh, okay, well, that should be a pretty simple fix. Just put another bolt on and we'll be, we'll be fine. Right as rain. And AAA was like, yeah, you know, well, it would be, but mechanic is saying he's having some trouble with putting a bolt in there because, you know, it seems like the bracket might be damaged. And I was like, oh, Christ. Ah, okay, so, you know, whatever, you know, wear and tear it endured when uh, one of those bolts is missing has now, like, warped the bracket or something, and now it's not going to, like, fit properly, and, and I was like, okay, uh, all right, fine, I, I will deal with that then. And they're like, yeah, so we can't actually find just the bracket itself. We would have to replace the bracket and the caliper. And uh, that's going to be about $400. And I was like, nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. We're not doing this. So I, I let them, you know, do a couple other things on the car. Like, you know, uh, brake light bulb, uh, and power steering flush, um, and like one or two other things that I was like, I don't want to deal with those. But for the most part, I was like, no, piss off. <laughs> I'm not. We're not doing this. I am not yeah. going to pay you four hundred dollars to fix a one bolt missing issue. Like fuck off. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> um So anyway, I get my car back. Uh and then Um I finally I have a chance on Thursday to take a look at my car. And so, Thursday, jack the car up, yank the wheel off, and then uh, take a look at the caliper. And I was like, oh, yep, okay. I totally understand uh, why I didn't realize that it was the caliper that was jacked up. Um, mm -hmm. Because just looking at a glance, it looked perfectly fine. Like, you would have never yep. known. Um and as I said, you know, I know that my rear brake rotors are rusty, so I had every reason to think that those were what was making the brake noise. Um, turns out, though, uh, I was very wrong. So I take a look at the the front left uh, brake caliper, and um, the The uh, bracket has only one bolt. The second one had, I guess, wiggled out. The one bolt that was there was barely in there. Like, I I'm telling you, not only was it, like, not even hand tight, it was maybe, like, two or three threads away from just being not in there at all. Oh. And, yeah, and I was like, oh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this could have gotten bad. Um, so I take the bolt out. It was it was in the top slot. I take the bolt out of the top, and I put it into the bottom because I was like, okay, well, I, I know it's going to thread into the top, so that part is fine. I need to check the bottom now, and so I, uh, I, I was like, I need to make sure that you know I can just get another bolt and put it in here um and i'm i'm really pissed off at triple a now because all triple a had to do was get a 17 millimeter bolt and just stick it in there and that would have solved my problem uh because the the bracket was not damaged at all not even sort of and um i suspect that it was the C Tech wanted to make a uh, quick buck, because you know uh, th the way that they get paid is uh, they do a job like brakes or they do a job like a, a fluid flush or something, and uh, th you know they'll get paid for that. And brakes are pretty lucrative for them. Um, they're pretty easy to do. It's uh, you know quick and dirty job, and they get paid uh, a decent penny for it. And I did not 
need a new caliper or a new bracket. Not even sort of. Because I took that bolt out of the top and it threaded right into the hole in the bottom. It was actually incredibly easy. And I was uh, kind of astounded, honestly. I was like, I thought I was going to have to dick around with this for a while. <laughs> and, um... Nope. So then I, I did a dumb thing. I did a very dumb thing. You know what I did, Galen? Well, what you did? I left it. I left it threaded into the bottom. And so, for those of you not aware, um, the, the the brake caliper is kind of housed around the brake rotor, which is a circular piece of metal. And when you step on the brakes, it squeezes two pads together around that uh, brake rotor, um, yep. which is, you know, uh, attached to the wheel, um, and it, it spins with the wheel, so uh, it squeezes those pads together and slows the car down. Well, if you've only got the bottom bolt on, and those pads squeeze together while the wheel is spinning, what happens, Galen? Uh, it starts to push the caliper out. Yep, it sure does. If you only have the top bolt in, it's not that much of a problem because it'll probably push the caliper out a little bit, but it's the the like pivot point is such that with the wheel spinning forwards, um, which is, you know, you're not going to have nearly as much momentum when the wheel is spinning backwards. Uh, so it, it, that doesn't tend to become... Uh, nearly as much of an issue. Uh, but when the wheel is spinning forwards, that will tend to push the caliper bracket out, uh, and then it'll start rubbing up against the wheel. And that's a bad time all around. Ooh, so anyway, um, yeah, I, I put the bolt in to the bottom slot, uh, not the top one. And uh, I was like, well, there's no point in taking it out of the bottom and putting it back into the top. I was wrong about that. And I decided, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive to the nearest hardware store, get a bolt real quick, take the wheel off again, put it into the caliper bracket, and then that's going to be my issue solved. Well, I drove for maybe a quarter mile, and then I start... You know, I, I step on the brakes, and then suddenly I'm getting like... <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. Oh no. Thankfully, I was able to make it back home. Uh, took the wheel off. Um, you know, realized what I did wrong. And I was like, okay. I'm just going to order some 17mm bolts off of Amazon. Uh, put them on. And uh, and then I was like, all right, cool. Let's test this out. Um, brake caliper works perfectly. The, the, there is some damage, unfortunately. Um, there's a little bit of damage on the inside of my wheel. Uh, it's a little bit scraped up, but it's not like... It's nothing that would, you know, compromise the structural integrity. Um and there's like a little bit of scraping on the brake caliper too but like again nothing that I'm even sort of concerned about so yeah all those issues that I was having with my car uh, I was just one bolt away from them being fixed just one bolt just, just, just one bolt one bolt Anyway, that is us out of time. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Hope you really enjoyed this. Hey, make sure to drink plenty of water. Go out. Do something nice for somebody. And as always, take it easy. Goodbye. Take care. How magnificent. What a beautiful way to die. Holy apocalypse.